Have a seat. Thanks. Is it true that your grandmother hasn't spoken in, in years? Yeah. My father said she hasn't said a word since my great-grandmother died. That's got to be 30 years. There's a lot of work to do on the ranch. Yeah. Jay takes care of the horses. I watch the churros, and my father does just about everything else. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. You know, when I opened the door last night, I saw something. Pretty sure someone was outside. I don't know what she's talking about. It's probably a dream. Do you always ask so many questions? When I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from, what you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. You'll excuse me, I got work to do. Eh, don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. Well, I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Well done, Jody. Proud, stubborn, never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. Hey there, Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? <laughs> See, Ashki? It's not so bad, is it? Admit it. You kinda like me, huh? <laughs> hey, Aiden. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Take him to the enclosure. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. want to take a shower. It's behind the barn. 
Ladies first. It's fine by me. And then, the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs>
Jody! Jody, I told you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's happening here? What was that thing? You should have listened to me. You stayed in your room. You have to tell me the truth. You have to tell me the truth now. It's Yeitzo. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. We can't do anything about it. You can't fight his spirit. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. You remember, Ashley? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? Whoa! Okay. Okay, my fault. My fault. I'll... I'll be more careful. Ashki, we're doing pretty good, huh? That horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over to the pasture to tend the churros. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go then. <laughs> yeah! I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. Your father knew the spirit. It's not the first time he's come, right? Yeetso has always been here. He comes at night and steals souls. The old ones used to say, it's a curse the price our tribe had to pay for living on these lands. Does a spirit come every night? It'll come for many nights, and then it won't show up for months. But it always ends up coming back. My turn to ask you some questions. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? I, um... I have to tell you something. I... Jay! Jay! We 
Clear the clash. Oh, she's there. The bad boy, shock. I. I eat on. She in the dish. In. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. Where's the well? Uh, it's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. I'll see you back at the ranch. Okay. See you later. again.
here. Can you see anything, Aiden? the soldiers in the fort. Could it be Yezo? There's nothing here. What's the connection? Can you see anything, Aiden?
Thanks, Aiden. Weird. This one has no talisman. here. They were lost, full of hatred for the white man. 
It brings spirit to kill their enemies and gain revenge. Turned against them. He was still hungry. Hungry for blood. Yeah, it so is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were robbed, so they returned to protect us from the evil that they released. If they brought the entity here, I mean, there's got to be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost in the past. I saw it. I saw the ritual in my vision. I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. that opens the wine. <laughs> Pull 
apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you, where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. Did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. You know, my parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and, uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, looking for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. How's it going? All right. You keep the change. Thanks. I ordered pizza. I, 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 I hope that's... No, pizza's good. Don't sweat it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. You know, I, I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So, yeah, you know, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Iden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you, have, do you have any family here? No, 
No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for two years. And, uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. Well, you know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Hey, Aiden. Thank you. I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? 
Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Aiden? Uh, are you doing that, Aiden? Found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody? Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired, is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? They were coming back from their mother's. Truck. Wrong driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. 